Tonight's top EU stories from the UNIT website include EU regulators latch another £600 million onto the ECB charge card Britain and the EU, the dilemma continues Gruyere, EU adds cheese to its geographically protected list The Franco-British showdown is on, let battle commence And finally, the EU proposes new methods for maintaining and managing copyright I'm Rick Timmis and this is the UNIT Nightly News First, from our homepage, they're at it again. Our Euro Bureau kleptocrats are keeping Mr Draghi in a sweat. However, you can relax. No need for more fiat funny money, as this UK deal, overseen by the 27 rulers of Mordor, is only a loan. The Green Deal enables the good folks in the UK to get energy efficiency home improvements on the never-never. Well, in actual fact, the funding will be repaid via increases in gas and electricity bills. Full details are in the story. Links below. Well, well, Mr Cameron has caused consternation in the Federation. Apparently, the British political community is in a state of confusion and is floundering over whether Britain should be in or out of the deep waters of the European Union. This article looks at the different aspects that are befuddling our Westminster sages. Ah, the protected geographic indications list is an ace up the sleeve of the EU when it wants to override its policy on illegal state aid. France has applied to register Gruyere cheese and has been granted entry to the list of protected items. Roll up, roll up for the match of the moment. In the red corner, wearing the blue and white trunks, we have our current ultimate political posturing champion, Francois Hollande. The contender from the United Kingdom, weighing in with a deficit of just over £1 trillion, the Prime Minister, David Cameron. Your referee for tonight's match, Angela Merkel. Fighting for the UK right to a referendum, heavyweight belt. Tonight's contest will be fought over nine rounds of three minutes. Join us for details of the match. Links are below. This article looks at a new approach being considered by the EU to maintain rights and simplify the copyright compliance for consumers. Following on from the dismal defeat of ACTA after huge public pressure was brought to bear and a triumphant example of the power of the voice of the people, the EU is tentatively putting its foot back in the water to revisit these copyright issues. This article carries the details. Today in our video library, the EU Commission has ratified a report to instantiate a media rally to tackle anti-EU sentiment. The Commission's report says experienced media professionals should be hired to inform the public of the Parliament's activities. Now that sparked accusation that the EU was using taxpayers' money to wine and dine journalists, something Eurosceptics say represents a conflict of interest. This interview from Russia Today with Nigel Farage of the UK Independence Party discusses the details. That's all from me at the Unit Nightly News. You can get lots more news stories and information on our website, theunit.com. You can get in touch with us there and we particularly welcome your letters and points of view. You can follow us on Twitter. Our Twitter username is the e Unit. And remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for all of our regular updates. You can join me and the rest of the team for interactive discussion and debate on Google Plus at any time. And finally, our The Word programme is active again. If you would like one of our public speakers to come and discuss Britain's relationship with the EU in your area, get in touch with us via the Word section of our website. Rick Timmis for the Unit Nightly News. I'll see you soon.